everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review McFarlane USA. So, McFarlane USA is the newest Disney live action sports movie. It's directed by Nikki Garo, and it stars Kevin Costner, Maria Bello, and Valente Rodriguez. So, McFarlane USA is based on a true story about this former football coach that just lost his job due to an incident so he and his family are forced to go move to McFarland to go look for a job over there because it's really his only option to go find a job so he starts working at McFarland High School and he's coaching these kids at football but he realized that these kids aren't particularly in the right sport he sees that they can run and holy shit they can run so then he decides to open up this cross-country program at the school so for that on those three kids and the other kids join on and you get yourself an inspirational story i'm definitely happy to say that this is a great movie and I thought this movie really excelled at telling the story about these Hispanic kids who actually have to wake up very early just to go to the cornfield to for their dad and then have to go to school and then cross country and so you really get to learn about those three yes you get the other kids that are part of the cross country but it's mainly these main three kids that you really got to learn all about in this movie and I just thought it was really nice for the movie to just give us their little backstory. It kind of reminded me of another recent movie that told a Hispanic true story called Spare Parts and Spare Parts is where we got to see their little backstory and what's going on in their life. That was the aspect about Spare Parts that I really liked and then it's the same aspect with McFarlane USA. Everyone does a really great job here. Kevin Costner is Kevin Costner but you know what he's fantastic as Kevin Costner but there's a great emotional weight to his character and every line that he delivers you you believe in it because he makes his lines believable and he he just delivers such a great screen presence. Not only is Kevin Costner just a great actor, but he just has that screen presence to him that just makes you go, wow, he's so likable. And then you actually do have Valente Rodriguez, you know, the actor that played Ernie in the George Lopez sitcom. He is in this movie as the principal for McFarland High School. He's really only in the first act of the movie. After the first act, you really don't see him. Like, you, you do see see him again towards the end but he really doesn't get to like talk again but it was still really good seeing him and Maria Bello although not in this movie too much she does do a good job as Kevin Costner's wife now another thing that was so great about McFarlane USA without a doubt is the cinematography it looks so beautiful it's so relaxing it's very properly lit there were times where I was just so relaxed watching this movie because the way that it would film the sun and the dawn, it was just so gorgeous to look at. And then when the racing scenes are there, it's really cool to watch. There's not really enough of them. I feel like the movie does focus more on the story on these kids rather than the cross country moments but when they are there they are a lot of fun to watch they're very well filmed it has a nice good scope to it and it does build for some nice tension during those moments I really thought the humor really worked for me I was finding myself laughing a lot especially when it came to these kids mom and I don't know who the actress is but Whoever played the mom, I thought she did a really good job. She was really funny. She was really tough. She was one of those on-point moms, but she really pulled off the role so well. You could tell the movie had a lot of care. Um, Nikki Cotterell, I think the director's name is, she does a good job directing this movie. You could tell that she had a lot of passion because as I was watching this movie, you really could tell that these writers, the director, and the actors and anyone involved in this project are very passionate about it and that's something i could always respect when you're very passionate about a movie and there's definitely a lot of care to be added in mcfarland usa which probably is why it's such a damn good movie 
The storyline is very well written. It feels very fresh. And for this movie being about two hours and ten minutes, I thought it was paced very well. Now, the only problems I did have with McFarlane you would say is that I did feel like Maria Bello and Kevin Costner's daughters were underused in this movie. I wanted to see more of them because when they were there, I did like them. I liked the daughters, I cared about the daughters, and I cared about Maria Bello, but you really don't get to see them all that much. Once the movie reaches to the third act, that's when you got a little more focus on Kevin Costner's family. But before the third act of the movie, it was more focused on Kevin Costner and the boys and spending time with them. And I felt like more time could have been fleshed out for them. Overall though, McFarlane USA is such a great movie. It's well directed, it's well acted, it's well written, it's well paced, it's well shot. So I'm going to give McFarlane USA three and a half out of four stars. So comment down below and let me know you guys what did you think of McFarlane USA and also tell me what's your favorite Disney sports movie. Thanks for watching everyone this is 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!